Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw a currency symbol in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new artboard, 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. And one of the quickest ways to create a currency symbol is to select the type tool, left click anywhere on the artboard, and just type your currency symbol. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be doing the Great British Pounds currency symbol and generally it looks something like this. So this is editable text at the moment and we can select this, click up in the character box up here and just use the up or down arrow keys to cycle through lots of different currency symbols and you can find one that you're happy with. And at the moment this is editable text, if we go into outline mode, that's command or control Y, it will look more or less exactly the same. However, if we select this and go to type and create outlines, it will turn this editable text into a shape within Illustrator. So you'll see it then changes to this. This is now a series of paths and anchor points and is no longer editable. In terms of the font, no longer being editable. We can, however, select the direct selection tool and click on these anchor points and we can customize and edit this font however we like. I've obviously just made that incredibly awful, but hopefully yours will look a lot better. However, for this tutorial, we're going to take a look at drawing our own currency symbol. So whilst you can use a font as a starting point, what you can also do is select the pen tool and we'll create the symbol by left clicking on the artboard. You can hold shift to create that perfectly horizontal line and it will want to continue this point here and you can simply go up to select and then down to deselect and this shortcut here is definitely one worth learning. So you can't see anything on the artboard but let's just select over this and we can just swap that fill in the stroke, go into the stroke panel and just start to increase the weight of this. So you can design like this in the normal mode or you can go into preview mode. Remember that's command or control Y and it will only show the paths. So it doesn't show fills or stroke weights or color, just the bare bones paths. So we can select the pen tool again. We can scan along this. You'll see that it quite nicely highlights the middle of this line that we've drawn using our smart guides. And if you go up to view, down to smart guides, and just make sure those are turned on. So let's left click. And again, we can hold shift just to get a perfectly straight line. And we can either continue that with a curve like so. However, what we're going to do for this tutorial is just click the ellipse tool and just left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And we're then going to drag this circle so it lines up with that center line. And using the direct selection tool, I'm just going to drag over the bottom center and the right center anchor point and hit delete or backspace. So we're left with just a quarter here. And if we come out of outline mode, you'll see that we're starting to create our pound shape. And we can drag over this and just increase that stroke weight. What we can also do is select the quarter that we are now left with and go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, object, transform, reflect, and reflect this along the vertical axes and it will create a copy and flip it around. And holding shift, we can drag this to the right and it will nicely snap in place. Now we don't want all of this, this droops down a little bit too low. So something that we can do is select the pen tool, just left click and hold and select add anchor point tool. And we can scan along this line and we can left click to add an anchor point. Now, as we've added a new anchor point, if with the direct selection tool, we select this end point here, we can then delete that using backspace or delete, and it will only cut as far as the new anchor point that we've added. 
So we've gone from this to now having this. And we've specified where we want this curve to cut off. What we can also do is that at the moment, this symbol feels a little bit unbalanced. This curve droops a little bit over to the right too much. So we can just hold shift and drag the bottom, the base of this symbol over to the right. Let's just reposition this all in the center. And we've already got a horizontal symbol here, so we can just drag this holding the Alt key and it will create a copy. And you can hold Shift as well to make sure that it drags straight up, so you know that everything's still in line. And of course with the Direct Selection tool, we can just click this anchor point on the right and hold Shift to pull that in. So for the most part, we've created our great British pounds currency symbol. And if we go into outline mode, remember that's command or control Y, we can see all the paths that make that up. And one of the benefits to having this drawn with paths is that we can now edit the stroke. So it gives us a little bit more control. So if we select over this and just select our stroke from the toolbar on the left, we can then go into our swatches palette and we can double click on a swatch. Let's go for an orange, select the global box and preview, and we can adjust the color swatch. Another thing we can also do is we can importantly edit the stroke weight. So we can make this super, super, super bold, or we can make it super, super, super thin. So it gives us a lot more flexibility like that. And it's always worth keeping an editable version, I think, of any icons that you draw, just in case you do want to go back and adjust the weight of the stroke later on. So I think for this tutorial, we will settle on about 40. Nope, 50, yeah, looks good to me. And something else we can also do is as all these lines are still editable paths, what we can do is we can select the cap type as well. So we can select round cap and it will round off all of the corners. Although I think for this one, I'm going to keep these with a nice straight edge. And there we go. That's how to draw a currency symbol in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.